Hi and welcome to Themic. In this video, we will talk about how a mechanical system can be described in mathematical terms. What are the minimum number of terms needed in this description and hopefully set the ground for the more detailed explanations that we have for you in this topic. We are confident that by the end of this video, you will be able to recognize and define in simple terms each one of these components with the plus of knowing why they are so important in explaining the behavior of the physical system. To prepare the ground for what's coming next, it is necessary to define what is a mechanical system, right? Here it goes. But in simple terms, a mechanical system is a system of elements used to apply forces and control movements with the sole purpose of performing a prescribed action. It's a simple concept. In the concept, we rapidly see terms such as elements, forces, and movement. Elements, as in components, structures, parts, etc. You get the idea. If we assume that these are solid elements, we know that these elements or parts can be defined in terms of their mass, stiffness, damping, and inertia, which implicitly tells about the geometry of the part, and other material properties. Forces, another word that pops up from the simple concept, refers to an external or internal force used to keep the different elements of the system attached together, or a force of any kind present in the mechanical system. For example, Earth gravity is one of these set of forces. Of course, if we are not flying in the dark space. And the last one, but not the least, movement. Yes! Movement for our case can be in the form of a displacement, a velocity, or an acceleration. They can be linear, if the part is only translating, rotational, if the part is purely rotating, and complex, if the part moves with a combination of translation and rotation. Let's test our definition of a mechanical system using one of the most well-known and studied mechanical system, the spring mass system. Now, we see that we have elements, the mass, and the spring. We have forces, gravity, and the one exerted by the spring. And if we pull the mass a little bit downwards, then a movement appears, as linear displacement, velocity, and acceleration of the mass. All of this combined in our simple concept of a mechanical system defines the totality of the spring mass mechanism. Now, you get the idea that if we find the correct combination of these terms, elements, forces, and movements, and we write them in a mathematical equation, we are likely to get the equation of motion of the system. But don't worry, you don't have to figure out how to combine these terms on paper and break your head. Many people have done it already and we will show you how. We have started with a very trivial introduction of how a physical system can be represented as a mathematical equation, more specifically as the equation of motion. It might be possible that you already know all of this, but that's perfect. We will build on this information and take it to a point where you get surprised of the neat things you can study using this mathematical representation. See you soon and don't miss out on our next videos.